Hey, wasn't I Carly that guy that girl boss too close to the sun because he was down for Apollo? Icarus! Orc facts. If you hold an orc up to your ear and listen carefully, you will hear him. He is impressed with your strength. You will be married in the spring. Um, there's only one gender, buddy. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen someone say in Roblox. You tell me Roblox is the one gender? Ooh! Today in amusing Middle English, I came across an adjective meaning noble or lovely or beautiful. It can also mean, in various contexts, graceful, lush, splendid, mirthful, or majestic. The adjective in question is... Wolok. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Someone reading my writing. Wow, great story! Me sticking my hands in the plot holes. Thanks! In the pockets. Plot holes are merely the pockets in which your audience keeps their fanfiction ideas. This is galaxy brain level understanding of story structure. P.M. Seymour! As a tiny octopus, let me tell you an octopus fact. But only if you wish to receive an octopus fact. Bestowed upon me, tiny octopus. Octopus arms have a mind of their own. Two thirds of an octopus's neurons reside in its arms, not its head. As a result, the arms can problem solve how to open a shellfish while the owners are busy doing something else, like checking out a cave for more edible goodies. The arms can even react after they've been completely severed. In one experiment, severed arms jerked away in pain when researchers pinched them. This is beautiful information. Thank you, Tiny Octopus. To be honest, I think some people are rude as hell to certain artists that apply exaggerated proportions to their art styles. Some may decide to utilize a cartoonish style where a certain part of the body is bigger or smaller than the other. It's obvious that the artist is skilled and knows how the body's anatomy work, but choose to apply exaggeration to their rather harmless style. But some people will be snarky and say, Yo, why her waist so small in proportion to the head? Like, dude, you know damn well the artist is doing it intentionally. Why are the boobs and thighs so big? Because it rocks. And that's that on that. I think part of the reason why social skill lessons are always so vague and surface level is because if neurotypicals actually try to explain their unspoken social rules, they'd have to face how nonsensical and messed up a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm creating upsetting spells in my fucked up wizard tower today. Not that I don't believe you, but like, what makes the tower fucked up? Asbestos! My sisters will not stop referring to them as the Brothers Jonas. As though it's 1705 or some shit! Every time I read this post, my brain reads it as the Bronus Jethers. I kind of did that in a couple of takes. <laughs> Tumblr should institute a mail forwarding option, where if you get an ask and don't want to answer, you can send it along to someone else, and they'll receive it like the ask and message them. I'm aware this would make the website worse, but bear with me. It's a good idea. Is Tumblr still relevant? Tumblr couldn't maintain its popularity against other social media platforms. Today, Tumblr is not as popular as it used to be for varying reasons. However, the platform is still online with occasional posts from its users. I I'm sorry, occasional posts from users? Oh, oh, fucking, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Andy, hold, hold me back! I'm gonna fuck this page up, you think you can just fucking say shit like that to me? I've got 27 hours of content on this! I am the Tumblr Man! You don't fuck with the Tumblr Man!